How to send emails with MailChimp, MailChimp email marketing tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a quick look at how you can get started with your own email marketing campaigns using MailChimp. So let's get into it. Now MailChimp is a tool that will enable you to begin your email marketing. They focus on email marketing, however, they also have other features such as creating your own websites, online stores, appointment scheduling, purchasing your domain, creating digital ads, social media ads, as well as landing pages and more. So to get started with MailChimp, simply head on over to MailChimp.com and click on sign up over here. So once you click on sign up, they will show you the pricing page. Now over here, you're going to choose what you want. If you want the transactional email, so you can see depending on the number of emails that you want to send, you will be charged accordingly. Then you also have web and commerce. So you can get some basic features such as creating a website for free as well. Then you have the marketing platform. So in the marketing platform, you can see you have monthly email sends and on the free version of MailChimp, you have 2,500 emails that you can send for free. So we're just gonna click up on sign up on free over here. And once you click on sign up for free, so once you click on sign up for free, they will ask you to create your account. For this, all you have to do is input your email address. And after that, you have to enter a suitable password. So I have previously created an account. I will just log on to that. And we're just uh, logging in. Now, if you create a new account, you also have to complete email verification. If you log in after a while, you also have to complete email verification. So, and I'm just going to submit my verification, click on accept. And now you can see this is our basic MailChimp homepage. So in this homepage on the left, you have your navigation panel. In your navigation panel, you have a couple of different things. So you have, first off, we have our basic dashboard. I'm just going to head on over to our dashboard. And the dashboard shows you all of your campaign performances, a general overview. Then you have your create section in which you can simply click on create and choose whatever you want to create right now. After that, you have your campaign section your audience, your automations, your analytics, website content integrations, and basic search. So to get started, let's take a look at the campaign section. Now over here, you can browse all of your pre-existing campaigns in the form of a list view as well as the calendar view. So you can mark when a specific campaign starts. For example, if you have a Christmas product that you're launching, you're going to launch it on Christmas, maybe in December then you can set the timeline for that campaign to be launched on that specific date and it will be automated in that form. Then if you click on your list view, you can view different statuses as well of your emails or email marketing campaigns. So if they're existing ones, all of your emails, landing pages, drafts, so on and so forth. Next up, you have your email templates. From here, you can build basic templates that enable you to send these uh, sample emails or, you know, basic welcome emails, thank you emails, and, uh, you know, all the basic stuff that you usually get with any business. You can automate that with templates. Then you have your audience. So in here, you're going to create your contacts. And if you have a uh, Excel sheet of your contacts, you can add that over here as well. You can import that. If you want to add them manually, you can do that as well. So you can import from another service. You can upload a CSV or TXT file, or you can copy or paste directly. So that is totally up to you. Then after that, not only can you just, you know, add your pre-existing contacts, but you can click on sign up forms over here. And you have a simple form builder. You can create a subscribe pop-up form, a contact form, a embedded form that you can embed into your website or into your landing page, into your e-commerce store and get more emails from other people that are browsing your website. And that will enable you to get more contacts and send more relevant campaigns to them. Now, within your audience, you can also segment them and bring specific tags so you can uh, bring tags you can click on create tag over here maybe i can create a tag called frequent purchaser or vip customer or maybe i have a tag called ghost customers that purchase once and then never purchase again so i can give them or send them targeted email marketing campaigns so i can better boost my sales now then you have segments it's pretty much the same thing you're going to create segmentations within the entire section of your audience so let's say I want them to be their birthday and the birthday month is April and that could be like the segment. So if the birthday month is April, I can create this as like a April birthday gift email 
So that will enable me to send them like free samples or a free gift because it's their birthday month or something along those lines. Now, after that, you have automations. And now we're going to focus on uh, building our email and sending that email. So once you create an email, I will show you guys exactly how. But once you do create it, you can go on ahead and automate it and automatically send them based on a certain trigger. The trigger could be when a person does not purchase the item for you from your website and leaves it in their cart or any other kind of trigger. So to begin creating your email, simply go onto the top of your navigation bar, click on create over here, and then you have three different options. So embedded forms, uh, regular email or landing page, we're going to click on email. So you have templates that you can choose from. You have regular email templates or plain text emails. So plain text emails are boring and customers don't really read them that often. So I would recommend getting started with a regular template or just a basic template that you can get started with. So if you just click on regular over here, so I'm going to name this, you left something in your cart. That is a, often an email that you usually do get with businesses and you want to have one for your own business as well. Then you're going to add your recipient, add a form, the subject and the content. So uh, the recipient is obviously going to be people that are, you know, in your contact list that have added things to their cart. We can automate that, but the main part is to just design your email. So to design it, you're simply going to click on design email and then you have their new builder or the classic builder. You can select whichever one you like opening up their email builder. You can get started with a template or get started from scratch as well. So over here in our MailChimp email builder, we have a bunch of different layouts that we can choose from. You also have specific themes as well, and you can also save some of your own templates. So I'm just going to continue with the theme because we're just doing this as a sample. This is like an art newsletter. You have, you know, basic wide sales announcement, all of these basic stuff. And then you have this simple drag and drop block editor. So if you want to add more text, you can drag this block over here and then you can enter text within the block. Now, after you have customized your design, you can just click on continue. And once you click on continue and you have designed your email, you are going to click on add subject. So the subject could be, hey. So after that, I'm adding my preview text as to here's a 10% coupon, simply because I want my customer to engage in the email and to be more, you know, inclined to, you know, answer the email or open it up. Then you're going to add your own email address from which the email is going to be sent. And then you're going to add the recipient. So you can choose whoever is from your audience section, from your segmentations, whatever segment of audience you want. So you can choose any segment, any of the pre-built segments, or even the specific tags that you created. Now, after that, you can just click on save over here. Once you've done that, you can click on send over here and you can click on send now. And then the email will be sent to your customers. So that is how simple and easy it is to get started with MailChimp. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.